Hello friends, in this video we are going to be discuss three category of git element color which is background color, border color, text color. So how we can check? I am going to be open the site of anthro.com anthro.com So after opening this site you can find check your refund this button. I am going to be get this button background color which is blue. The second one is you can find one way button. This one way button, I'm going to be get this border color and this text color. How we can get this is what we are going to be check it now. Come back to Eclipse. I'm going to be create class. Get CSS color. element okay so main method so i'm going to be copy from previous class which is the driver one just copy and paste it here just close it now we are going to be take this anthro.com site Copy and paste over inset git. Next we have to start taking element of this object. So press F12. Kindly watch what I am going to be uh, inspect this element. Okay. Uh, now I am going to be increase this font one also. just okay first I'm going to be check this check your refund button here I'm going to be take this background color I'm going to be inspect this element so whenever I inspect this element here you can find it this uh, the pop-up right so what is the background what is the margin what what is the padding those things it will be highlighted right so after clicking on those things, okay, this is the element. I'm going to be take X path for this one. Okay, so this is the X path for this object. So little bit scroll. Okay, here you can find. Here you can find the background one. So this is the CSS property under style sections. You can find it those CSS properties. Okay, here you can take this background one. Okay, first I'm going to be copy this X path. Go to Eclipse. I have to store or else I have to create one web element. Web element so element driver dot find element by dot x path so this is the element one okay so next what I have to do I'm going to be create string string background color equaled element dot now you have to give get CSS value get CSS value using this method only we can able to pass the attribute of CSS one okay get CSS value here you have to pass that CSS attribute for this X path so what is the CSS attribute for this X path here what we are going to be check for this object we are going to be check the background color right so here under the tail the CSS attribute value is what is this one background we have to pass this background attribute inside get CSS value method. Okay. I'm going to be print this background color. Next. 
next we are going to be find border color of this element which is one way i'm going to be inspect that object here also you can find it color font margin padding this is the css property value so i'm going to be take x path for this button so here i'm going to be take title attribute one way this is the x path for this one i'm going to be store the same way so before what i have to do i just copy or else i have to take this only one better so i have to copy this x path of one way element paste over here i'm going to be create string border color border color element dot get css value so inside css value we should pass what is the property name okay so now go back to the application here for this object this is the property value here we have to check border color here you can get it border color attribute right this is the attribute this is the attribute value which is property name and property value okay so here we should pass the property name as border color have to copy and paste over inside get css value okay this is so border color The third one is we are going to be verify the same X path, which is the, for the same element. We have to check this text color. Okay, so you can find it. This is the color. This color is indicate the border color indicating this border color one. The color property value denoting this font color. Okay, the text color. Got it. So now I have to copy this one color. string text color get css value this so so i have to text color so finally i have to close my driver one Okay, so now you can see we are going to be validate three different category, which is background, border color, and color one. So this background color we are going to be check for this button, which is blue. We are going to be get this color value, and the same way we are going to be get this border color value and this text color value for this one way element. Okay, let's see what is the output we are going to be get. I'm going to be execute this program. So before I have to maximize this one. Driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. I'm going to be execute once again. So now this is the value we received. Okay. So background color, border color, text color. Here we are received RGP value. So based on this RGP value, how we can check whether the blue color or any other color. So for that one, what you can do, you have to check this online one, which is color picker. You can use this website, which is color picker. If you enter this RGP value, it will be giving the color one. Okay, see what is the color? I'm 
what I have to do, I just copy this RGP background one. Let's see what is the color we are getting. I'm going to be paste over here. See, this is the color. This is the hex, uh, hexadecimal code for this color. Let's see the same hexadecimal code available in the website. Let's check. See, this is the background color hexadecimal value. Copy. Okay. I'm going to be paste over here. So, in website, this is the hexadecimal code. We find it. The same way, go to the color pick. I'm going to be copy. For this RGP value, this is the hexadecimal code. This is the two property value matching for this color code. Uh, color, okay. This is the two color code matching this blue color. I'm going to be check. This is the same or not. This is the color picker. See, both are same one. So, now we are received correct value of this background color, right? So, the same thing we are going to be check for this one way object what is the value rgp1 this is the border color right red so here the same way we are going to be check this object what is the value we are going to be get the border color is f3 this is the hexadecimal value Border website before put hash. Okay. Go to color picker. This is the same value. See? Because we have to check inside website, we can find it hexadecimal code value, but when we are executing, we received RGP value. We have to check this same RGP value mean the the hexadecimal code matched or not we have to check so it will be matching okay then uh, we are uh, get the right value of uh, css uh, one right next we are going to be check the text color okay so what is the text color this is the same thing see the red means what for this rgp value combination this is the hexadecimal code value okay this is the color code of this uh, red color one like this way we should uh, confirm the rgp and the hexadecimal uh, matching the same color or we need to confirm so this is the way we have to get the css color value for the the specific element okay so i hope you can understand easily how we can get css value property one okay Thank you guys.